Yes, indeed. in the bushes. Look at him. He's stuck. You get stuck? I wonder if the back fencing will catch him if he's corralled in. He went under this rock right here. He's still right here. He's looking at me. You want to run him into the net? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready for him to hit that net? He just ran out. Got you, Lana. Got you. We set up this net around these flowers so that iguanas couldn't come kill all the flowers. They ate them all the way to the ground. And the uh, landscapers are working with us and putting mulch around everywhere else but our netting. We've been able to get some of these to start growing flowers back in. This little sneaky guy had gotten into the net and was still eating our plants. But we were able to catch him because he stuck within our netting. Got you, iguana. right here over my shoulder and try to get him where he doesn't land on a car. From his diagonal branch here. <laughs> he was just about a foot or two in front. <laughs> I shot him. Yes. Hey guys, we just found an iguana. We were hunting, but we found an iguana that's stuck in the bushes. It looks like he slid down the ficus, and you can see that his body is stuck right there. We were just hunting here a couple days ago, so he's still in good condition mostly. He has fluid buildup in his leg because he can't get the right circulation. Wow. What happened, buddy? Oh, he's not happy. All right, let's get him out of here. He got crocheted in there. We got a pretty good size iguana right here on the lowest branch. I've been coming here forever and can never spot an iguana in these trees right here. And here he is. So lowest branch going away from us. He just lifted his head up. Like what are these humans up to? Don't trust them, iguana. Don't trust them. And there he is. The Dangler Special. We were, we were gonna shoot him to knock him down. Oh, oh, that's the squirrels. Thought we had a second victory. Mm -hmm. Here's our guy right here. And let's see. Got him just under the jaw. 
Where's the exit? It might have stayed in him. Yeah. I don't see an exit. That might be exit. why it came down so easy. See? The yeah, pellet might have activated. That lid so, might have activated inside well, of him. He took the full power of the pellet, which is our goal. So got you a gun. Got a big boy right in our face. Right here in our face. Thank you. That was just under the chin. Zombie acrobats. We need to sit still. I don't know what to say, that's a terrible way to hit. Here he comes. Made it right by the fence post so we can find him. We got a little iguana moving on this branch right here going up. And we got a big iguana, two big iguanas on the higher branch. Where'd the little guy go? Here's the little guy. Is he still there? Where'd he go? He was on a move, wasn't he? I don't know. I guess I gotta go for this bigger one that's up on. Can you see the ones that are on this higher branch? There's one in the sun to the right, and there's one in the sun to the left in this curve. Okay. He's moving up a little. I'm going to the one that's to the right hand side. Cop. He's peeking at me. Caught the branch. Got it right in the eye. Look at him. How he flipped and came down and landed on top of his other branch. Ha -ha. About six feet in on the white wall is where that one landed, so we can find it. The other one's by the fence. Look, he's right here. There he is. He made his own clearing. He's in the sun even. So we got number three. Check out some shots on him. Looks like we hit him just under the eye in one spot. Came out the top of his head because we're shooting from below. Stuff like that going on, the guy's super dead. Yeah, and these other guys. Here's all three. Got you iguanas. And that one that twists, you got him looking like Fetty Wap. Got one eye. <laughs> hey guys, we're out here with all this noise because the building behind us actually caught on fire yesterday or the day before. They have all these generators running this entire building. But we're trapping on the property next door, which is here. And this little guy was right at the edge of the water about to fall in. He's a baby mockingbird. He's a native species. And mom and dad are up here having a fit at us. Not that little bird. Let's see, here, right here. One of them's right here in the tree. And the other one's over there making a fuss. There's a second baby in the bush over here that I found that's bigger. So we're gonna set this guy up in this palm over here so maybe he can nest down in it. I really don't want him to make it back to the water. So, got you baby bird. Okay guys, I climbed up here and I put the baby bird.
feed him and they'll feed the other one. Mockingbirds knock their baby babies down all the time and then they uh, protect them, which is why everybody's always getting attacked by mockingbirds. So she's trying to get a uh, position where she feels like she's comfortable with a backstop for a safe shot. It's an iguana right here. Well, there was an iguana. made it a safe shot by catching the backstop of that one branch up there so that we don't have anything landing on any of these fancy boats or these RVs. Peeking at me, going up this branch. Going up diagonally right. I'm gonna go this way to see if I can't catch a good shot on it. Like this. There he is, there he is. See him walking down the branch? I'm trying to spot him still. He's on that branch moving away from us and it curves a little to the right. Okay. He just moved his head. He's sneaking. Take that. Ooh. Everything's been one shot. Everything's been one shot. Four iguanas, four shots. Pellet conservation at its best. Ooh. Just fell out the tree for us. Came out the top of his head, so it was very humane. Pellet conservation and humane shots. So we only need one more here and then we'll be out of this spot. We have a lot of places to make it right now. It's July 2022 and iguanas are everywhere. Look at this blood splatter. Jeez. We'll be able to pull him down with the ball, and that makes number seven, which is one over the 50 count that we need. Oh, and he'll wait for us there. He made a little splash about it. Whew, took that eye, huh? Got you at once. Hey guys we just finished up out here we snagged 10 iguanas in like 25 minutes we had a contract for only 50 iguanas here so when we reached the number we stopped so our goal here was six but we snagged four extra ones today and so we're gonna grab these 10 out of here and we'll be able to build the job but they want us to come back so we hope to see you here soon we use the Atomic XR, the 22 cal, and we actually got to use the Hades pellets today by JSB. They have a split tip and we love them. They dump all the power in the iguanas. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No escape. Y'all should see the tiny one we got. Look at this, y'all. That's a little iguana. Yuck. Mm. This is nice. Let's go grab this.
Okay. They're gonna knock the door open when we get over here. Ooh, y'all are fussy. Look at this water. It's so calm today. Look at that. Runners in the box. Runner Mango face. Got him. You dangled that little thing? Yeah, I got him right there. Oh my god. It was god. a five hold. Oh wow. Gee. And that other shot that hit, hit the branch hit him lower. See down here? Catch you a clown. Just to show you, his uh his head is as big as my pinky. It's an extremely small iguana. This is a hatchling less than a week old probably. He's on this branch. He's on the green branch that sticks out the farthest. Yeah. Okay. He's about two feet in. Okay. And look at hang on. Yeah, he's hiding his head. I'm trying to catch a certain tree as my backstop, so it's I kind of can't see his head, but I know where it's at. That he felt that, but I nicked him. Hang on. Might be further than I thought. It should be him. Yeah. He's uh, oh, 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 oh. slumped over it. No, no, he ran. There we go. Right here. No way. Okay. I was gonna say he's like point blank right here. <laughs> you just. <laughs> I did. <laughs> hey, somebody else ran. Hang on. So we already got three iguanas here that were good size iguanas, but they get babies in this bush. We have uh, probably about a six month old to a year old in here, and I see a hatchling if I can still find it. He's moving on. Moving up, he just moved to the left. His head's facing left in that split in the branch. Holding three. We've got him, but I think I hit him in the neck, not the head. Where's he at? That should have been the head. Hard to see through the leaves. There's another tiny, tiny iguana in there. We're gonna see if we can spot it again. Right behind him. See if we can get on the other side for some of that here. Is all I can say. I see baby iguana right here. Unless the one I shot is still right there. No. Yep, yeah, that's him. Is that iguana? Where that iguana go? I got him. He followed. I'm looking at him. Look, he's right here. Come here. Hanging? His spine's hanging out of him. Come look at this. Oh, oh, I see him right here. These are such close shots that it's hard to catch the whole tree. I don't think this guy's alive. I'm about to get him. Yeah, yeah. Don't walk over there, okay? That 
would be a goner. I like totally got him. His head was right on top over there. I might. Let me see if I can see him. Hold this, please. He's hanging right here. I think I can reach him. It's not that big, but this is what's eating up their plants in here. This guy has an amazing yeah, uh, vanilla bean orchid. And um, these little guys are running this hedge here, coming out and eating up his plants and causing a huge problem. Really hard to get the traps in here because of all the plants. So it's, it's really a shooting job, but it can be unsafe. Shooting straight across, so I have to take either of these upward shots or we have to chase them out and take these shots down at the um, dirt. So, um, yeah, I got you a guana. This is actually the fifth one on the property in about 20 minutes here. Got a little bitty iguana here. Wow, I'm getting flipping really close it. close to him, but I'm missing. He it was a like five hold, and I was holding three. That's why we hit him a little bit. He lower. looked like a grasshopper on the shot before that, though. Headless. Like a lure. Now he's headless. Oh, my goodness. Got a. Jeez, he had decapitated. For real. So it was a five hold, like I said. The first one I did a three, and it was hitting a little uh, off. So got him. Mm -hmm.